America's veterans give everything and so much more for their country, and now we have a chance to give something back. Thanks to years of research and effort, the VA has introduced a revolutionary new prosthetic. The LUKE arm, which stands for Life Under Kinetic Evolution, is the most advanced prosthesis available today. It is the first prosthetic arm cleared by the FDA and is the first commercially available powered shoulder. Here to demonstrate how it works is VA Secretary David Shulkin and Army veteran and LUKE arm recipient. Fred Downs. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here today. Thank so, you. Fred, first of all, you're, you're a veteran. You served uh, in Vietnam. Silver Star for Valor, Bronze Star for Valor, four Purple Hearts. You were obviously in the thick of it. Tell us a little bit more about your service. Well, I was in the infantry there in the U.S. Army in uh, 67 and 68. I got hit, and then uh, I uh, spent uh, about a year in the hospital after that. It was a bouncing Betty landmine that flies out of the ground and explodes about waist high. So it blew my arm right off. Almost lost this arm, almost lost my legs. Wow. Uh, so, so, first of all, thank you very much for your service and welcome home. And you're the exact reason why the VA exists. And you're pretty happy today because you've got a really neat piece of technology that the VA has facilitated. Tell me about the Luke arm here. Certainly will. I control this with my feet. These are IMUs down here, accelerometers. So, when I move my feet, they send wireless signals up to 10 computers. So, right now, I can rotate my foot, I can rotate the hand, I can close the pincher, I can. Uh, Rotate my left foot and use this to uh, manipulate the wrist. Then I can take a switch and I can take this wow. and move my elbow, which these last two functions are not available in anything else. So What's it like to have the ability to do this? It's great because for the first time in 49 years, I have the ability to grasp with my left hand. And it's such a wonderful feeling. You, know, you just can't imagine once you lose that ability to be independent because you need your hands for independence to take care of yourself. Absolutely. And if I feel like what, what America wants is for veterans to be repaired when they come home with the best technology. And Mr. Secretary, this is, the, this is the, a first of a first. How did the VA help facilitate this happening? Well, this took years and years of research. This was actually the VA and DARPA, other federal agencies, working to make sure we could develop this type of advance. And we're continuing this type of work. But now, since 2009, we've been working on this. We can finally bring this to commercially, to a viable product that we can start helping not only veterans but other Americans. And it's exactly yeah. why VA exists. It feels like the kind of sort of comparative advantage that the VA has the ability to do that research for guys that have given everything to give them their life back. Well, no one else but does this type of research. So this is why the VA is here. Why we do research to bring advances to our yeah. veterans. Fred, this uh, this this is uh, evolution. It's going to continue. We're going to improve the control features through the muscles or nerves that are mm -hmm. left. And uh, it, you're going to see it's a continual step process. And if you look back at the VA's history, you'll see that they've been the leader in prosthetics and all of these areas where the VA is first in and they are serving disabled veterans. And then that has a ripple effect out to the civilian Absolutely. world. Absolutely. Fred, can you turn your wrist all the way around? Uh, not all the way around, okay. but quite a bit away. <laughs> More than I can. That's right. So you've got some pretty advanced. There we go. That is pretty yeah, darn there cool. There you go. And I just want to say on behalf of, I mean, this is what the VA should be delivering. Uh, it's great to see. And, and, and thank you for what you've done to get that VA accountability bill passed, change the culture there, and ultimately give veterans more choice, too, which is a Well, which we're is working hard at this. Our veterans deserve yeah. better, and that's what we're going to give them. Well, that's, uh, appreciate that commitment. And Fred, thank you very much for your service. Well, thank and you. Enjoy, this, enjoy the Luke arm. All right. You got it. All right. Thank you, Mr. Secretary.